Here I have a Tracker Classic receiver and a Tracker Strike Collar. I'm going to tell you a little bit about collar frequency drift and how to tune collars into our Classic receiver. Frequency drift is when a collar drifts a little off from its original frequency. So if you have a tracking collar that's supposed to be 217, 250, it might drift and pick up better on 249 or 251. One of the main causes of frequency drift is a change in atmospheric pressure or simply a change in the weather. If you were tracking in 30 degree weather one day and 100 degree weather the next day, you would almost definitely see a difference in the signal quality. I'm going to show you the difference in the sound of a signal when a collar has drifted or is out of tune. So I'm going to turn on my classic. Right now I'm getting a perfect signal because when we build our classic receivers, we specifically tune each collar to it that will be used with the receiver. So I'm going to take it out of tune so you can hear what the signal sounds like. And our classics have a tuning wheel on the side that's used to adjust for frequency drift. So as you can see, I'm losing range and I have to turn my gain up as well as the sound of that signal is changing. And I call this kind of a, a clucky or a chirpy signal. It's really not a very good signal and you really will not get very good range, range with it. Now I can just tune my wheel back up there and turn my gain down and pick up a nice good signal again. Now you know a little bit about frequency drift and how to correct it.